انا الیه راجو on the morning of Ashura Aba Abdullah al-Hussain called on the men from his family and friends and said unto them stand may Allah have mercy upon you indeed on this day Allah has permitted that we be killed in his way so prepare to meet with your Lord and do not go astray from this path one by one they began to give their life for Abba Abdullah one by one they began to give their life for Abba Abdullah all the while the number of his friends was becoming less and less while the number of the enemies continued to increase and Zainab Kubra was watching from the Khaymaga she said, Abba Abdullah, see how many are the enemies and how few are the friends. Is there no one that you can call on in your time of need? Is there no one from these people who will oppose Yazid? But nobody else came for Sayyidi Shabab Ahlil Jannah. And one by one, his numbers began to dwindle. Muslim Ibn Ausajah was one of the first to leave. When Muslim Ibn Ausajah was shaved on the floor, Abu Abdullah came and sat next to him, saying, O oh Muslim, it is very dear for me to see you leaving me. <laughs> Habib ibn Muzahir looks onto Muslim and says, O oh Muslim, had I not known that I would be following you shortly, I would have asked you to entrust your will to me so that I can administrate your affairs. But by Allah, I know that it is less than an hour and I shall also be a shaheed. <laughs> Muslim ibn Ausajah with his final bit of strength raises his hand and he says Ya Habib ibn Mudahir I have an amana to entrust upon you. He said what do you say O oh Muslim? He said this gharib of Karbala let nothing befall him until you give your life in his way. One by one their numbers began to dwindle and one by one Abba Abdullah returning the headless bodies back to the khayr until it was time for him to give away his family the first of them was the most handsome Shabih al-Mustafa Ali al-Akbar <laughs> they say that when Ali al-Akbar fell to the ground he called out Abba Abdullah <laughs> Father Hussein, come to my side so I can see you and bid you farewell. They say that when Abba Abdullah came next to Ali al Akbar, and what state did he see Ali al Akbar? <laughs> Ali al Akbar, one moment he was looking to the right and he would smile, then he would look to the left and he would cry. Abba Abdullah said to him, O oh John, I'm Ali Akbar. Have you become delirious from the amount of wounds they have inflicted upon you? Your state is causing me to worry for you, Ya Ali Al Akbar. I see you one moment you smile and the next you cry. What is causing this in your state? Ali Al Akbar says, Father Abba Abdullah, I look to my right and I see Rasulullah saying to me, hasten O oh, Ali Al Akbar towards us. But Abba Abdullah, when I look to my left, I see your mother Fatima Tizara, say, oh, say now, oh, I'm of no 
مظلوما وغريبا أنت العلي الأكبر زواعف لفتم أبا عبد الله الحسين كاريز علي الأكبر بكت بخيمة أفتهم كيم القاسم بن الحسن يا القاسم ذولي ومن انتم حسن المجتبى هو الفواد أني أنمي سوان بنهم As he went to fix his sandal, Ajrukum ala Allah, they raised the sword and struck him on his head. When he fell, the horses began to trample on his body. He cried out, Uncle Hussein, come save me. Abba Abdullah Hussein comes and takes Al Qasim. One by one, they all leave until it is only Abba Abdullah Hussein and Abu Fadl al Abbas. Do you know how important Abba? is to Imam Hussein in Arabic the word Akhi it is derived from the sound Akh when you are in pain the first person that you call the first person that you call in your times of calamity that is why he is called Akhi the one who responds to me when I say Akh Abbas was the Akh of Abba Abdullah Abbas was the one who was always there for Abba Abdullah now Abba Abdullah has to bid him Farewell. Abu Fadl comes to Abu Abdullah al Hussein and he says, Master Abu Abdullah, you will not allow me to go and fight, but here is Sakina holding Ali al Azhar, and I can no longer bear to hear them crying out, Al Atash, Al Atash, Abu Abdullah, Sayyidi wa Mawlai, will you not let me go bring them some water? Abu Abdullah says, Abbas, leave your sword behind. Abu Fadl comes onto the battlefield, the books of history tell us that there were 80 warriors from the army of Omar ibn Sa'ad lanatullah alayh each one of them single handedly has defeated a thousand warriors so that's 80 people the equivalent of 80,000 when Omar ibn Sa'ad received them there was a note from Yazid lanatullah alayh he said these are the, the strongest warriors in your army you leave them to fight nobody only when Abbas comes to the Maidan so that they can prevent him from bringing water to Abba Abdullah al Hussein. The books tell us that when Abbas stepped onto the Maidan, their faces turned black with fear. Their faces changed color, but Abbas was smiling because this is the day he was created for to defend Abba Abdullah al Hussein. There is nothing that will prevent Abu Fadl. He runs towards them, they begin to run away from him. He reaches the water, he talks to his nerves, he takes the water, he comes back to Abba Abdullah. Allah al Hussein. He is hastening a man on a mission, but Ajrukum al Allah. They hid behind the tree. They raised their swords and summoned the right hand of Abu Fadl. They summoned the left arm of Abu Fadl. They struck him with a pole on the back of his head. They shot arrow after arrow into his body until one landed in his eye. That was the final farewell of Abu Fadl Abbas. But today, today we are here to remember the Akhir. When there was no Abbas, no Ali Akbar, no Qasim, they say that in these final moments when Abba Abdullah looked around him, he heard the daughters of Rasulullah crying, Wa Zillata, Wa Musibata, Wa Abba Abdullah. Imam Hussein begins to cry for the state of Bibi Zainab and her sisters. He calls out, Is there no one to support me? Allah minna asurin yansurna. Today we respond, Ya Abba Abdullah, Labbaik Ya Hussain, with our tears we cry for you. Allah minna asrin yansuruna, Allah minna bin yannubwa mahurumat Rasulullah. Yet nobody was there to respond to Abba Abdullah Al Hussain. Abba Abdullah Al Hussain goes into the khaymah of Imam Sajjad. Wa alayhi wa salam.
<laughs> Imam Sajjad says, Uncle Hussein, Father Hussein, Bibi Zainab came to me earlier on and she said, What do you think if we ask Imam Hussein to remove the tents from where they are and push them a bit back in case the enemy attacks? Father, what do you think of this? Abba Abdullah embraces and Sajjad. He says, Son, I am no longer going to be the Imam. The decision will be yours to make after I leave. Sajjad wants to stand and help his father, but Imam Hussein tells him, Oh Sajjad, Allah decreed that you will be ill so that he can excuse you from jihad so that Imam may live on. After entrusting the world to Imam Sajjad alayhi salam, Abba Abdullah Hussein to the khaymah of the women. He goes there, come to me, my sisters. Bid me farewell. Oh, what a farewell I fear. The book tells us that some of them threw themselves at the feet of Abba Abdullah, kissing them. Some of them were embracing him. Some were kissing his hand. One was saying, Fear man Allah. was saying, Fear man Allah, my dear brother. Another one was saying, my dear but there was one lady there, one baby, she's the only one who said, Fia man Allah, ya min al-Sahara, Bibi Sainab alayhi salam Aba Abdullah, after he bids them farewell, he goes out, but there is no one to bring him the word. Everybody that wanted to go and fight, Aba Abdullah brought them the word, but there are no men left to but to give Abba Abdullah his horse, he says, if there no one to bring me my horse, I am the son of Fatima Tunzara. <laughs> Bibi Saina brings the horse to Abba Abdullah. Oh, the Lord. Oh, I saying, Zainab, what kind of heart do you possess? What kind of a sister gives her brother the horse of death, knowing after him will not return? <laughs> Abba Abdullah al Hussein alayhi salam, before leaving, he says to Zainab al Kubra alayhi salam, he says, Zainab, you are the owner of this household. Your charter is the honor of this household. The way you act after me will be the honor of this household. Zainab, look after the orphans for me, and especially Bibi Sakina, alayhi salam. <laughs> Allah knows how much I love Bibi Sakina, oh Zainab, a house without Sakina is not worth living in. <laughs> As Abba Abdullah Hussein gets onto the hills, Zainab remembers something. She was saying, Mahlan Mahla, Ibn al Zahra, do not be so quick to leave us, O son of Fatima al Zahra. Abba Abdullah Hussein comes to Zainab. She says to him, Abba Abdullah, I have one final request from you. He says, what is it, O oh Zainab? She says, Abba Abdullah, remove your armor so I can kiss your chest. She kisses the chest of Abba Abdullah. She smells the neck of Abba Abdullah. Zainab told her to Medina. Then with a heartbreaking cry, she says, Mother Fatima, the amanat has been delivered. Abba Abdullah, Says, oh, say that what I'm not. She says, Abba Abdullah al Hussein, when our mother was on her deathbed, she said, Zainab, do not cry for my one broken rib. Abba Abdullah will have many broken ribs. <laughs> oh, Zainab, when you see him alone in Karbala. I want you to kiss the chest that will be trampled by the hooves of the horses. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
and I want you to kiss his neck for me. Bibi Zainab said, why his neck, mother? What about the neck? She said, Zainab Shimiru cut his neck with a sword from one jugular vein to another jugular vein. Allah, Allah, the final money is a Fatima to Zahra. Aba Abdullah al Hussein gets on his horse and he goes towards the enemies, giving them a final reminder, but they do not heed his reminder and they begin to attack him from every side and every angle. Some of them were attacking him with spears, some of them were shooting him with arrows. Some of them were throwing stones into one of the stones hit the head of Abba Abdullah Hussain. They continued to fight him from every angle and every side. Omar bin Sa'ad Lanatullah saying to them, We'll be on to you, attack him, attack him. By Allah, he is the son of Ali ibn Abi Talib. If you grant him a moment of respite, he will annihilate you. Imam Hussein fought his way until he reached the river Euphrates. When Abu Abdullah al Hussein got to the river, he was so thirsty, he came. He came to drink the water, but then he looked at Zuljana, and Zuljana was also thirsty. Abba Abdullah says, Zuljana, by Allah, you are thirsty, and I am thirsty, but I will not drink until you drink. Zuljana leaves the water and moves away to say, Abba Abdullah, how can I drink before you when Abbas did not drink before you? At that moment, Omar bin Saad wants to stop Abba Abdullah Hussein from reaching the water. So he says to him, Oh Hussein, when you drink while the Khaimah of Zainab is burning, Abba Abdullah throws the water away, picks up his sword, he says to me, to me, come fight me, do not go to the Khaimah of Zainab. And indeed they attacked Abba Abdullah Hussein until swords were rising and falling on the body of Abba Abdullah. Arrows were penetrating the body of the sept of Rasulullah. Zainab al kumra came out of the Khayma. She could not see Abba Abdullah. So she raised her hand. She said, Allah, lay the ground because I want to see the son of my mother. And then there was the king of Zainabiyya. From there she was observing Abba Abdullah al Hussein. <laughs> But all of a sudden, when Imam Hussein was in the final sujood, he saw Shimon ibn Zul Joshan approaching, and a storm took over Karbala. They say that Abba Abdullah Hussein raised his hands. He said, Oh Allah, do not let Zainab see what will happen to Abba, Abba Abdullah. At that moment, Zainab could not see Imam Hussein. Neither could she hear any sound from his direction. She goes into the Khayma of Imam Sajjad. She says, Sajjad, your father Hussein is gone and I cannot find him. There is a storm that has settled on Karbala. I cannot hear any voice from Abba Abdullah. Sajjad, will you not tell me as the Imam? Imam Sajjad says, Bibi Zainab, help me to stand. She took him outside the tent. He said, I'm the Zainab. Give me a stone. She said, why? He said, I want to eat my head with it. She said, why, Sajjad? He said, there is no way to stand on him. There is no way of my father being away from this people. <laughs> there are those who can't believe the body of Abba Abdullah. I love to see the prayer. I love Abdullah. I love Abdullah. I love to see the prayer. Yo, say. Yo, say. Yo, say. I just remember all of them. They died on the